So you've got to be really careful when you look out for units uh, in problems, uh, especially if you've got some units that are in meters and seconds and suddenly you've got a velocity given to you in kilometers per hour. Um, so you've got to be able to convert uh, kilometers per hour to meters per second, meters per second to kilometers per hour if required, um, and potentially kilometers per hour per hour into meters per second per second, uh, an acceleration. Okay. So how do we do this? So I'm going to show you how to do it the uh, long-handed way, okay? Um, and then I'm going to show you a couple of quick um, calculator uh, techniques that you can utilize here, okay? So first of all, 50 kilometers per hour to meters per second. So what you need to understand is that 50 kilometers is 50,000 meters. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to convert 50 kilometers into 50,000 meters first, so times by a thousand. And then we need to get it into seconds. Okay, so we need to get this into seconds, it's currently in hours, so we've got this one hour. Okay, so 50,000 meters in one hour, so one hour is 60 minutes. Okay. And then 60 minutes is 3,600 seconds, okay? So you're dividing by 60, then dividing by 60 again. This will leave you with the M over S that you want. So 50,000 divided by 3,600, which is 125 over 9, so 13.9 meters per second to three significant figures. So now if we can want to convert 30 meters per second into kilometers per hour, then I know that 30 meters, okay, is actually 0 0.030 kilometers, or just 0 0.03 kilometers, okay? Now I'm currently saying I'm gonna do that in one second. Okay, now one second is one sixtieth of a minute, which is one three thousand six hundredth of an hour. Okay, so I've got this 0 0.03 divided by one over three thousand six hundred, which is the same as 0 0.03 times three thousand six hundred and that gets me 108 kilometers per hour. Now, the quick way of doing this, okay, on your calculator, so on the Casio ClassWiz, there is a conversion function. So if you go to Shift and then press number eight, you'll see there's a CONV, convert, okay? And it gives you a few options. There's length, area, volume, mass, scroll down, velocity, pressure, energy, power, scroll down, temperature okay so actually if you go back to velocity that's the one we want so we go to velocity and you'll see there are two options kilometers per hour to meters per second and meters per second to kilometers per hour so if i choose no option number one okay you'll get this kilometers per hour arrow meters per second you need just to scroll to the left to put in the 50 before the kilometers per hour press equals, and you'll get the 125 over 9 directly, okay? Now, if we go back and we go into conversion again to velocity, let's try it for the other one. So for number 2, meters per second to kilometers per hour. So if we put 30 meters per second, we get the 108 kilometers per hour, okay? So your calculator can do that for you. Acceleration, however, wasn't one of the options on your calculator, so we can't use it. So... What have we got then? We've got five kilometers per hour per hour, okay? So we've got five kilometers, which I know is 5,000 meters, okay? And I'm saying that I'm doing that um, every hour squared, aren't I, right? So it's one hour squared. Now, one hour I know is 60 minutes, which is 3,600 seconds, so that's 3,600 seconds, and it's squared, okay? 
So in actual fact, we've got 5,000 divided by 3,600 squared. And that gets me 1 over 2,592, which is 0 0.001, uh, 2, 3, so 3, 8, 6 to three significant figures. So 0 0.000386 meters per second per second. That is the same as traveling, uh, is accelerating at five kilometers per hour per hour.